Let me ask you this. What would you do if you're a promoter and you're at the wrong end of an SEC complaint? Would you lay low? Because apparently the answer is you set up a Twitter account and you go at it again. Awesome penny stocks, arguably the most famous pumpers in their prime, are back. Or at least people who claim to be them have appeared. You may or may not be aware of the story behind this, so let me elaborate. In March this year, John Babikian, the outfitter's owner, was sued by the SEC on grounds of scalping. The definition of this term is that Babikian purchased shares before promoting the stock, and then sold them without ever disclosing in the pump letter that he owned them, which is definitely a big deal. The legal complaint basically signaled the demise of APS, and no promoter has managed to actively take their place since. And then this, we're back message suddenly appeared last month and rumor is media analytics is the comeback pick whether these are the original people from APS or they're just claiming to be so I don't know what I do know is that people on message boards are saying that smart stock choices the outfit that pocketed 18,000 to promote media allegedly has ties to awesome penny stocks and I also know that their latest pick absolutely lives up to the legacy of APS just a couple of sessions ago, media was traded just in the hundreds of dollars. Then, on the next day, the explosion suddenly occurred, multiplying the share price four times on a dollar volume of two and a half million. Again, there's no proof that these are the real APS, or if smart stock choices is really tied to them. But if they are, and Ms. Babikin is also involved, then you, sir, have got balls. Maybe not the smartest decision, but you've got balls. Meanwhile, to keep things consistent, media analytics really behaves and looks like an APS pick. And of course that means that it has some giant red flags with bullseyes painted on them. In September 30th, for example, the company had no cash or current assets, just 300,000 in intangible assets, 150,000 in current liabilities, absolutely no revenue since inception, and a quarterly net loss of 55,000. Having no cash or current assets is bad enough, but to make matters worse, back in 2011, an unnamed investor paid $12,000 for 24 million shares. And because of the 3 to 1 forward split, those grew to 72 million shares, which have remained intact since the company wasn't really traded. Or to simplify, that's 6,500 shares for a dollar. On the current market price, you can buy for the same money 12 shares. You be the judges on that discount. This is Martin Nadenov for Hotstock.com. I have a small amount of money to invest and I want to gamble in the market. I'm looking for a penny stock that'll go up and turn it into a hundred thousand or a million dollars.